And then again, I would like to slightly distinguish there are a lot of nomenclature that goes back and forth. So now I told you that AI has been around for a lot of things. Essentially, it devices are, are the device, AI devices are mimicking the cognitive functions. And one sub part of AI is machine learning. So that means that they are all you know, machine based algorithms which are able to run things. Even though we use AI as a generic word, in the last 10 odd years, what has really moved the AI is, is all about deep learning. It's all about these convolutional neural networks, which are able to learn from the data which comes out. So again, so that is coming from the data. So this is where we call it as science paradigms has coming to. So for example, like thousands of years ago, you know, a lot of science was done in an empirical way. If there is a natural phenomena, you wanted to really find out why that is happening. So in the last few hundred years, we have been tossing the idea of bringing a mathematics to it, bringing models to it, bringing generalizations to it. And in the last, I will say about 20, 30 years, because of the computation being around, we are able to model them in the computation and then look at it. But today, it's, it's mostly about the data, which what we are talking about, and we want to learn from the data. And of course, we assume that the data which we are talking about is a big data. It has a lot more data, which is, which is to it. 